Hey there, friends, and welcome to episode 16 of the Genetic Rim. Today, I guess we're going to complete the geothermal reactor, and we're going to uh, watch the ratfellows grow into full maturity. I mean... Oh! Ha! <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, like I said, we're watching them to grow into full maturity. Here we have a fully grown... Uh, female rat fellow with a destroyed tail. Oh, you're not seeing much of that. So we can uh, check out the uh, carrying capacity of one of those wonderful animals. I, I was wondering about that since I uh, since I read them. So let's check that out. There's also a crash site there. I don't have a clue what's waiting there. Possibly should check it out, but uh, I'm going to wait for the next one. So, uh, the Ratfalo carries uh, 61.3. Not bad. Okay, nice. Uh, they are officially also fast breeding, so we're going to get a nice uh, surplus of those. Um, there was the Chicken Rabbit, uh, which I needed some... Some new material of. Okay. So I will uh, let John do his recreation. But honestly, he is uh, quite recreated enough. And then we're going to breed another chicken rabbit and hope it will be not another rooster. So there's still a lot of fire burning there. <laughs> yeah, I remember the boomalope jeans. Okay, I need another, uh, I need another rodent gen uh, gene set, I just uh, realized that I have two things I need to uh, breed, so uh, somebody has to fetch that uh, raccoon for me, so I'm going to send Nicholas after that. Never mind, we have other business. So, uh, we're, uh, we're getting some donkey into the freezer today. Wonderful. Four mad donkeys appear at the scene. So, I'm going to, uh, assemble the whole colony for that. This is, uh, nothing too easy. Oh, look at that. The rat fellows are coming as well. So, Roscoe was uh, being last in the line. So, I'm going to send Aaron up front. The rest of the guys will be standing here. Kyo uh, is right next there. And uh, we, can, we can open the doors. Let's go. Hmm. Yeah, well. I was uh, considering moving Eren another square back, but uh, I think we're okay with that. Or, no, I'm not. It's very unfortunate for Eren because she's getting attacked from three people at once. So I'd rather let the Rat Fellows tank the rest. She got off with some bruises, so that's uh, quite good. Okay, nice. We got this. Uh, our donkey, is that a female or, or male? Ah, dang it. Only male donkeys left in uh, Pain Shock. So, uh, well, I'm going to take Orozco for the raccoon job. Okay. Some surprise donkey. There we go. Let's order John to craft some more rodent jeans. And then we're going to be good.
I love giddy up for uh, the speed bonus it gives to your colonists while they're doing things. When I first played with giddy up, I felt like I was uh, cheating in some way because, uh, well, compared to vanilla, this is uh, quite overpowered. I mean, if you look at John right now, he's uh, riding uh, with a speed of 6.76 cells per second. That's almost uh, 150% or around 150% of the regular movement speed of a colonist, so that's quite crazy. <laughs> um, but uh, I always uh, lay against that the stupidity of your colonists, because honestly, like, they are doing such crazily stupid things the whole day. It just uh, works against the natural weaknesses of your colonists by giving them some OP stats, which are not really making the game too easy because guess what? Your enemies can write things too. And as soon as you're facing some raiders uh, riding elephants, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, I, I like the mod in general. It's just a big thumbs up for Giddy up here. I like that stuff. A lot of fun for me and I can only recommend it if you want to try some new experience and uh, to me it always uh, made more sense that uh, the people are actually riding animals which are rideable. Don't know. Okay so uh, we're having two units of rodent material. Let's do another chicken rat or, uh, or chicken roost or whatever. And there was another boomalope thing there. So that's what we're going to do. Those builds are completed. We're going to order John to do some gene pods for us. And there we go. We're going to have a nice little uh, chicken rabbit and... Uh, Something which will be uh, a combination of a boomalope and a rad or something like that. Maybe it's going to be a, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't check out the uh, monsters you can create in this series beforehand, so I'm going to be as surprised as you are most of the time. A few of them I know from the f last series, but I keep forgetting things as well. So they did both good. Wonderful. So we're going to have some monsters soon. And uh, also, I have the ability to invite guests quite soon. I, I, I always felt like the monster farm should be a place for guests to enter and uh, to be in awe about the monstrosities we created. During a lightning storm in the night, this uh, has a certain flair, doesn't it? Alright. People who won't behave will end as meatballs. So, uh, the bee laboratory is going to be uh, over here. Possibly. Possibly it's not going to stay here because uh, of a nice uh, comment I read during the last few days, which recommended the. Uh, B activities in the vicinity of my storages, so this is going to be possibly not the final place where I will work the bees. I don't know. I haven't figured out that one yet. It's going to be my first time with the Rim Bees mod, but uh, all I saw before it looks quite extensive. I don't like extensive mods. But for today, we're just going to continue our. Uh, rodent genetic experiments like the least impressive but uh i mean come on the rat fellows i do like them they're even giving wool oh she's shearing one is this a different kind of wool muffalo wool no okay only five units of that huh. okay so they are uh they are a quite a quick breeding low yield uh version of the muffalo. I do like that. Because uh, they will be the backbone of my tanking abilities. 
Okay. At least that's my plan for now. So what's John up to today? Harvesting ambrosia. Sounds quite romantic. Um, let's check out the uh, world. How about the restocking situation? Restocked since your last visit. Come on, let's do a caravan. That's a wonderful moment. John is such a valuable colonist. I guess the psychic amplifier does that. Okay, we're taking the donkey and the rat follow. We're still having that lousy speed? Why? Wow, they are so slow. Something wrong with a rat follow? Or the donkey? Like 10.4 tiles per day, that's a horrible speed. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to send uh, Akio with them. Yeah, sure, why not? I, I think they, the other boys and girls will have enough food for a few days. Um, they're not going to starve. Anything goes wrong, we're going to send somebody else uh, for some cooking job. Uh, uh, Psychites, uh, I'm going to sell a few of those. So I just hope that I'll finally be able to uh, acquire something like a assault rifle or such. That would be a uh, huge upgrade to my uh, military strength. So we're going to sell these uh, clothes where we were tailoring during the last few days and... Uh, well. Okay, let's go. I feel like we're moving super slow, but uh, the game tells me we're going to be there in 0.2 days, and that's all I want to know. So, um, we're having this room soon furnished nicely. Or at least giving it a uh, certain civilized touch. Um, there is uh, also now the time to think about um the uh where is it the high-tech uh research benches so uh these are quite hefty things and i i feel like i don't want to do the uh high-tech research in the genetic laboratory it just doesn't feel right but what does feel right is to uh combine the um the genetic uh, lab with the uh, research lab in a way. So my idea was to dig out some uh, laboratory here right next to that. So I'm trying to do that. Orozco will be happy to, uh, to have a new digging project. Here we go. They're, they're hitting community bluff today. Wonderful. So, uh, our incubators should be hatching tonight. Wonderful. New ch Charnakite chunks. Uh, we're not running low on those. So we're going to do our nobility flooring definitely out of Charnakite. That's one thing I know for sure. Mad Boomalope. Oh man, lucky us. Um, going to send Orozco, Nicholas, and Sparks. Just to be sure that uh, nothing funky happens here. I mean, it's raining and uh, it's not particularly dangerous to hunt a Boomalope during the rain. But, you know, I don't want to risk anything, un uh, any uh, unnecessary dangers here. Okay, let's sell some stuff. They're selling Hydra. I have activated as many high-tech mods as I uh, was able to do for this uh, series. So, uh, they have some organs, a new liver, a love enhancer. Kinky. Okay. 
Oh, there you are. Uh, no really interesting weapons here. Oh man, I was afraid that this was this would be the answer. Survival belt, a emergency emergency survival belt used by starship crews. Vacuum survival thing. Okay, we're not going to need that. Toxic grenades. Okay, interesting, but I'm not. I'm not buying burn gauntlet. Six stuff. Amber and sunstone. Ah, well. Not too horrible. Let's have the animal table here. Huskies, yaks, chihuahua. I'm going to pick up the uh, Madison here. And go home as a happy man. Getting... Uh, getting a nice plus on my medicine stock because honestly medicine is very important but it's very uh sad that we're not having a good deal among those i mean the smg could be a uh in a, a interesting ish option but honestly i don't want to use an smg if i don't have to so we're going to make oh well no, we're not going to make a shoot off or are we going to make a shoot off? Because I need the jeans, I just realized. I want more Boomalope jeans, because honestly, these are not that easy to come by. Boomalopes are overall not too common or uh, on the rim. So there we go. Now we're having a new quest, the suicidal megalosaurus, so. A trader is calling. He will give us a fight with two Megaloceroses in 15 hours, and uh, we will get Glit World Medicines and a Psychic Insanity Lance. Oh man, we're going to do that, but we're going to wait for John and Akio to get home before we're going to accept that quest. So. Rapid chicken, yes! We're having the female we need we needed. Awesome. Okay, so uh the other one. We're having a squirrelope. A boomalope squirrel hybrid, slightly smaller than other boomalope hybrids. While lacking in size, it is fast moving faster moving, faster breeding, and faster producing camp fuel than base boomalopes. Huh. Produces more cam fuel than regular boomalopes. Very fast breeding. Can be slaughtered for their horns. Fun. Okay. I think I'm going to uh, dive deeper into the uh, the squirrelope breed. We need more rodents. So all of a sudden rodents uh, get more and more interesting. So luckily there's another rat. Ha! <laughs> Um, uh, how rested are my people? Not too much. Let's give them a night's rest. I have way too much hay. So I think my, uh, kibble plan had a, uh, vital flaw there. Because, uh, as far as I remember, you can't do kibble out of, uh, no meat. So the rice uh, is a uh, no kibble solution. I was uh, was uh, not thinking smartly there. You need meat for kibble, but that's okay. Um, going to uh, produce a lot of uh, kibble during the next days. As soon as I have configured the uh, menus here correctly. Okay, so that's done. Another thing I was just realizing is that the uh, meals here are having an allowance of eggs. I don't like it when eggs are being uh, cooked. Or, or no, only unfertilized eggs, never mind. Everything is right. Okay, wonderful. So tomorrow, the
the uh, when John will uh, be home, we're going to uh, uh, provoke the attack by the dinosaurs and uh, get some Glid World meds. That's good. I always like to have a few of those uh, in stock. Gives me a uh, feeling of safety. Because there are sometimes situations where it's uh, just good to have them. Oh, salvage components, I see. So, uh, I guess I will be uh, refining components either at a smithy or at the machining table. But uh, I can't produce either of those yet. Oh, there's a chemical refinery. Not oh, that we're already having that, what I'm talking about. So, do we have any jobs on this? We're making neutramines out of nutroglycerin. Okay, wonderful. Anything else I want to do right now? No. Okay. We're getting sieged. Okay, that's not uh, unexpected. What are uh, uh, armed with? So I'm going to uh, mobilize the rest of the boys because my uh, um, caravan is hitting the spot any second. And besides that, I am a big fan of uh, attacking sieging raiders beforehand. I don't like siege uh, sieges to uh, go into a longer scale. I don't like that at all. I always prefer the solution of a direct fight, if possible. So we're going to send Nicholas and uh, check out if he can sniper a few of the guys while uh, our friends are getting into position. So uh, these guys are building up some artillery. Okay. So nobody of them are, is having a real uh, high range arm so going to stand over those rocks and uh see if i can snipe somebody i mean foggy rain is pretty much the worst you can get uh to uh sniper people but uh well he has 20 percent chance to hit somebody So John and Akio are uh, joining from this side. It's going to be a while until they are ready to join us. Right now I'm just uh, hoping that Nicholas gets a uh, lucky shot in, but uh doesn't look like it right now. So uh, let's see if this works. Can we destroy the artillery before they built that? I never tried that, actually. Is that possible? Doesn't look like uh, we're achieving anything here. So, I'm micromanaging John now to uh, grab something to eat. I think I'm wasting Nicholas's time here. There we go. That was what I wanted to say. Death in 16 hours. Oh, I already... Uh, what? Where did he get all these wounds from? Okay, so I'm um, going to uh, go into position here. This looks like one of the smartest spots for me. Mmm, another one. Sniper rifles are really good weapons for, uh, for, uh, for siege situations. Especially if you're so lucky like I am here right now that, uh, they're not having any long-range weapons there uh, on their own. 
it's a shame that uh the uh weather is working against me so hard okay so let's bring John and Akio as well So, well, if we didn't achieve uh, much, I uh, got their builders uh, already on a bleed out. It's minus two. I'm waiting for John and Akio before I move any, th uh, any further. But uh, maybe I'm going to bring Orozco here as well. He's having a uh, long range rifle as well. Ah, oh, nice. Got one. So let's go for sleepy. So uh, there's no real uh, cover here, but uh, if anybody of our enemies uh, starts uh, considering uh, moving closer to my uh, guys, He's going to suffer from that. So, uh, yeah, Sleepy is the best target we could get go for. That's what I was talking about. Another one down. Nice. Yeah, so uh, we're decimating them. I think John had a uh, old action rifle as well, right? Yeah, I mean the bolt action rifle is not a real high range weapon like the sniper rifle, but it it is useful. So uh, the other two guys are uh, mainly uh, covering up uh, Nicholas here. Uh, try some different targets here. I mean, they already lost uh, two people. So I, I think I'm going to be a little bit more sassy here and... Uh, Start going a little bit more aggressively into the into them here. Because they have friends covering me up here, so I can definitely uh, go for something more crazy here, like attacking that artillery. I guess that will provoke them, but uh, they are only five in, uh, at this point, and this honor guy is uh, already bleeding out quite hard. There we go. First hit on the artillery. I'm going to send Erin to uh, grab something to eat. Keep repairing the, the artillery, okay. So these raiders are certainly not the smartest uh, sword. I mean, what are they waiting for? Like, what are they hoping for? Right now they are uh, just uh, giving themselves away like fools. So now they're attacking. Oh no, he has a flint log. <laughs> oh, no, I'm la 
nothing. So we're going to do a good old fashioned standoff, eh? Well, I'm going to send uh, Eren in. And uh, we're going to release the animals as well. There we go. Now they're fleeing. Wonderful. I'm going to claim this artillery. Nice. So, um, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, the uh, Monster Farm Society now owns its own artillery. We're going to place that somewhere safe. Nice. Seriously, it's really good. Um, Roscoe seems like uh, he's uh, having the juice to do that. There we go. Come on, Roscoe. Do me the favor. Uh, Aaron needs some treatment, but apart from that, nobody get, uh, got uh, hurt. It, uh, got hurt severely here. Ooh, there's another mortar too. Man, like Christmas. They brought presents. Those fools. Like seriously, they were behaving like fools. We're going to plunder that stuff tomorrow. Wonderful. Such amounts of steel. Free delivery. Wonderful. I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm just that happy. I was uh, a little bit scared when I saw the siege um, notification, but uh, come on, that was just wonderful. <laughs> All right. So um, the square lope has trained ability as well. You can send them to attack. Oh man, I do love exploding animals that you can send out to attack. <laughs> so we need somebody to ha hunt that rat, and uh, there's still the dinosaur thing. I really want to do that. Wild Megaloceros. I can't look up what a Megaloceros does, but uh, we're going to do, to do that. They're going to come in 15 hours. I just got a siege, so there's not going to be anything too crazy now. Um, going to fetch that rat tomorrow and trying to breed a breeding partner for the squirrel lobe. That would be fun, eh? Oh, friggin' hay, hay fever. It's still a pain to have this itching nose and uh, oh. springtime. Nature tries to kill me. I resist. Whoa! Dry thunderstorms. Always a nice thing to happen. <coughs> so, ah, uh, yeah, I, uh, I remember. I wanted to do kibble. And you know what? I'm going to allow all the meat. You know, all the meat. Just meat it. Meat it and eat it. Um, kibble is just uh, wonderful for feeding animals, and since I will have a lot of animals, I don't care. And uh, kibble production is a very good excuse for me to just kill everything on the map. Doing human things. Um, yeah, that's going to be the plan. As for now, um, Roscoe is already back on his feet, trying to beat some fire out because... Of... No, this is not your home area. Forget it. Forget it. I know those steel barricades are burning down, but seriously, who gives a damn? It happens too often, you know? It just happens too often. So let's get some rat genes. Check out if Orozco can find something interesting in the uh, laboratory to be. Doesn't look like it for now. So. We shot the rat. And let's extract those rodent genes. There we go. 
and I'll order that Boomalope Rodent combo right away. Fire. Oh, okay. That that makes sense to uh, extinguish that fire. Okay. Sometimes it makes sense. There we go. No, come on, John. You can't eat in a moment. Combine the genes. So we're going to smoothen out those walls to make them able to uh, carry cables. It's going to be a lot of work. But also going to make the uh, laboratory quite uh, quite nice to look at. I'm in no particular hurry to make that right now, because uh, we're we're having more than enough other projects running right now. I'm just quite happy to see my uh, resource stockpiles to uh, go up like that. Iolide. Oh, that's a nice purple. Okay. Sweet. Let's see what we'll do out of that. Let's do some art. Kind of that. Um. Well, let's do a large sculpture. Out of that stuff, and see what'll what it'll do. A Keo. Why a Keo again? Not a Roscoe? I don't know. For some reason I had in mind that a Roscoe is not the artist here in the colony. Whatever. Um, be so kind, my friend. Is it really just only those three squares? Okay. It's a really small dep deposit. So, uh... That's a quite interesting long description that we can uh, also sit them out. So, a Megaloceros is a uh, giant elk, but it's in fact a giant deer. So, uh, the guide just told me that I can sit out those guys, so... Uh, tell you what, I'm just going to forbid the doors and uh, going to do what the doctor said, sit it out, because I don't see any reason to kill those guys if I don't need to. And uh, right now, the risk of uh, tackling this fight uh, just overweighs the benefit. I mean, sure, I could uh, finish the geothermal reactor if I was able to leave this this place here, but. Uh, well, the only thing happening is that I'm not keeping the premise of the uh, beginning of the episode if I'm not doing that. That's really not the worst thing. <laughs> so, uh, beds. Beds for everybody. Okay. I'm going to forbid that door instantly. She almost would have uh, went outside now. Well, it's quite crazy that I can uh, get these rewards that easily by just staying inside. It's just like avoiding Corona. <laughs> just stay inside, everything will be fine. The giant elk won't bother you. Okay. Very, very curious about the squirrel oats. Um, how much wood do I have? Uh, certainly not enough. So I'm going to chop some wood. A solar flare! Hell, I hate that stuff. Solar flares are really detrimental to uh, genetic uh, laboratories due to uh, the fact that genetic materials need to be frozen uh, to last indefinitely. And they will rot at some point. And if you have thrombo genes or anything or, or or anything comparably rare in your freezer, and the solar flare destroys it, it's Batman. And it's a rainy day again. 
Gotta get a lot of rain here. Alrighty. So the kibble stocks are starting to fill up. Kibble is a wonderful thing. It's uh, not needing any. Uh, it, it's never deteriorating. It's so just great. Lasts indefinitely. So I'll just uh, keep slaughtering all those animals and uh, make them all into kibble for my for my animals. I think that's a nice circle of life. <laughs> So the living quarters uh, are getting more and more done. That's good. Solar flare is uh, getting uh, over as well. Fine. So I think it's time to kill those rhinos and uh, make some more dusters. The Duster Empire. Can do two two more out of plain leather. Is plain leather already activated? No, it's not. So there we go. More work for IKEA. It's a very very easy way to acquire Glit World mats and a Psychic Insanity lands. Hey, I acquired some shells, didn't I? Yeah. You're, you're uh, better advised not to uh, store shells like this. So, I still have mud bricks left. All the mud bricks got delivered here. So, I'm going to build a little uh, shack out of mud bricks. I start realizing what the use of, uh, of Adobe truly is. It's very good for uh, makeshift constructions. All I need is some place where I can put those shells. Because uh, you don't want uh, shells in your storage. Also, you don't want doors in front of you, uh, trees in front of your doors. Okay, let's call out the uh, stockpile zone for shelves. Mortar shelves, there we have it. It's only for mortar shelves, but it's important. There we have it. Going to send Aaron to uh, get at, at this right away. Oh, come on, please, please, please! Yes, a breeding pair. Wonderful friends. So this uh, gets me to the point where I'll put this uh, episode to an end. It has been a pleasure as always. I hope you enjoyed your time as well. And uh, feel free to drop me a comment down below if you want to talk about anything. I would surely appreciate. If not, I would also very, very uh, be. I would also be very, very grateful about any uh, thumbs up or subscriptions to my channel. Apart from that, just thanks for watching. I hope you keep coming for the next one as well. See you guys. Bye bye.